Hi everybody, it's Audrey. Welcome to my channel. This is day 19 of the Summer Scrapping series, and today my guest is Missy Whitten, who I have been scrappy friends with for a long time. Uh, if you don't know Missy, you need to go check out her channel. She is ex just so inspiring and does amazing mixed media techniques. Um, speaking of mixed media techniques, I am going to do some painting on my background. Um, so the photo I have, which I haven't shown you yet, is of my kids and their grandma in the hot tub. And I wanted to kind of mimic the hot tub in the background. So I'm going to use some blues. Um, I have already gessoed my background paper. I have been just kind of gessoing white cardstock in bulk. So if I ever have extra gesso that I'm using or I have it out, I will just grab a piece of white cardstock and uh, add white gesso to it just so I can have it uh, ready to go. So I've gone through with some mint and some teal um, inks and mists here and then I let those dry and then I'm going to go back with um, a couple like coral pinkish peachy colors and I'm just with my brush I, I used a thicker um, wider one inch brush for the blue strokes and then for the pink and then the yellow I'm going with a bit, little bit of a thinner brush and you can see I'm just scattering um, my lines around I'm using uh, I'm leaving some white space I'm not com covering it completely I'm overlapping colors um, so when I overlap the colors more colors come through obviously when you do the yellow over the blue you get a little bit of green and the pink over the blue gives you a little bit of purple so I like the way that looks. I'm going to go through and add a few more splatters. I think it's important to, um, if you don't want your colors to blend too much, to dry between colors so that they don't uh, mix too much on the paper. So I'm feeling like, I, I really like how this looks. I wish it was more blue. Um, maybe maybe I should have put a little bit less yellow in there because the yellow is really um, prominent I think but it is what it is. So then I went through and I stitched and what I did with my stitching here is I just did circles but I stitched the inner circles um, with a darker ink or ink with a darker um, thread and then um, I did like a lighter blue thread and then the very last circle, circle around the outside is white thread and I am sticking with one kit today. I am trying to use up some of my kits that are, um, or collections rather, that are just on their last leg, that I don't have a lot of um, papers and products um, and die cuts and embellishments and stuff left with. Um, I don't do a very good job using, <laughs> using a lot of stuff on this particular page of this particular collection. This is the Crate Paper, I think it's Poolside Collection. And this was probably four or five, four or five years ago, maybe six, I don't know. Anyway, I have a lot of bits and pieces from this collection left, and I can probably do several pages. Um, one of my favorite things from this collection is this vellum um, paper with the gold pluses on it. So I like using that to put behind my photos. I w this was not what I... I, I, I sketch out all of my thoughts and what I think I'm going to do for a design in a notebook before I actually do a page. So I have an, usually have an idea going into a page. And I was going to use some border strips um, underneath this photo in some shades of blue. Uh, but I just started layering papers and I liked the way it was looking. So um, at, at this point when in my design, I'm still thinking about maybe making some border strips but I'm not quite there yet. These triangles are from a piece of acetate paper you can see to my left there and I had already cut them out. I, perhaps I thought I was going to use them on another page um, but they're kind of cute. I like the addition of the gold accents and that kind of minty frame over my photo. I don't know if that goes with this collection or not but it was in um, the bag so I'm going to use it. And now I'm just going through the die cut pack, which I have quite a few of. I don't, like some of these die cuts I won't probably ever use, like the one right at the top left of my page with the girl diving in the water that says H2O. Like I might, maybe I'll cut out the H2O part, but I don't, some of these, I don't know, I just, I just probably won't ever use them. Um, but I'm going to try to, to squeeze 
some on this page. Um, I wasn't planning on adding red. I was going to kind of make it very light and watery, but I liked the addition of the red elements. So I have a little acetate circle that says June. I couldn't remember what month this um, <laughs> photo was taken. I guess I could go back and look, but then I put the July one on too because I liked how the uh, little circles looked there. And to add in some more blue, that word splash is perfect. And just a little bit more red. This page comes together so, so fast for a couple reasons. I don't have a ton of products I'm working with. Um, so I'm just going to work with what's in front of me. I'm not going to go searching around. I had a particular design in mind already. Um, and it kind of just fell together. And that word hot is perfect. I'll change, I'll add a couple more stickers later on to spell hot tub up there. And then these enamel dots, This is these are all I had left of this little sheet of enamel dots, so at least I used that up. I probably could have added, I, if I had more, I would have added them, but like I said, I wasn't about to go through and dig out my stash. I'm just going to work with this stuff here and get a page done. So you can see with my colors, I am somewhat trying to create a visual triangle. So I have a little triangle of yellow going on, uh, kind of a triangle somewhat of the teal blue, and then um, also the red as well. So the scripty word sun up in the top right was from a sticker sheet, and it actually said sun and fun. Uh, all in that font, but I liked mixing up these um, fonts. So the sun and the fun are from, the fun are die cuts and the sun is a sticker. I felt that the background was a little bit too white, so I'm going to add some corners to the page to kind of make it look like the illusion of uh, the circle. So it's kind of, they're kind of curved following the circle path around the photo. So I will distress those up a little bit and then start gluing those down. And I don't, I mean, this is, this is pretty close to the final page right here. I, I mean, I, I add a couple tiny things and move things around, but now it's just time for me to start gluing. So I will use my liquid adhesive to glue down all my little bits, even my clear acetate pieces. Um, because some of these plus signs, some are chipboard and some are clear acetate pieces, so. And stickers too. I find that when I have a background that I've done mixed media on, like that I've added gesso or paints or something on, that the stickers and anything that's already comes sticky, stickers, chipboard, whatever, it doesn't stick. So you have to add extra um, liquid glue to it or whatever, tape runner. So when I glue, I, as you can tell, I don't glue until I'm certain of my design. I kind of work from the top down so that I don't have to take everything off the page and then try to guess where it is. So I will. I started with the frame on top of the photo, and then I'll do the photo on the layer underneath that, and I work my way down to the very bottom layer instead of ripping it all up and, um, you know, starting from the background up. It's kind of fun to do a page with, I know I cover up a lot of the mixed media, a lot of the paint I did in the background, but that's okay. It, like I said earlier, the yellow was bothering me a little bit, so I do cover up quite a bit of that with the photo and other embellishments. But I was going to say that um, it's. It, I feel like I scrap a lot faster when I'm not doing something like using a cut file or fussy cutting, because uh, those things take a lot of time. So this page, came together pretty quickly. These clear pieces, I love them so much, but they are super hard to photograph. So when you see the pictures at the end, they because they reflect light um, and they're so reflective, they shine super bright. So it's hard to get a good white balance of your photo, um, but I tried. So when you see the close-ups at the end, you'll see what I mean, how bright some of those things can be some of those uh, die cuts. 
So this is a picture of my kiddos and their cousins, a couple of their cousins, and grandma in the hot tub. Grandma has a hot tub at the cottage up on the river, so the kids like to go in the river, which isn't super cold, but it's not super warm. Um, and after they go into the cooler water, they like to go all jump in the hot tub and play. So it's pretty cute. It's, it, it's, it's grandma's hot tub. She uses it for her relax, relaxation, but it's not very re relaxing when you have four, ki <laughs> four kids in there. So grandma has rules. Um, okay, I popped up a few things. I glued a few things. What else am I doing? I'm going to add one more banner all the way over to the left because I, I think the fourth one kind of got covered up there. I'm sorry, not the left, the right. So that one all the way to the right there, you'll see in my close-ups you can you can hardly see it because it's uh it's reflecting so much in the light so i decided I, I was just playing around with this i thought maybe i would add some twine to the banners and i didn't record it <clears throat> excuse me and then i finally decided that okay i'm going to keep it so i'm just showing you the last little bits here i just added a piece of twine i'm sticking it on with some glue dots i do go back and add a couple staples right at the corner of each uh banner piece um, just to help secure the twine in place. And then I add the word tub here, and then I put some journaling down around the curve, and there is the final page. So I love how this came out. Again, not my original plan, but it came out so cute. I love the movement of the circles, again, to kind of pick up on the whole hot tub theme. I, I took so many close-ups of this layout, I'm not sure why, <laughs> just to get all the different angles and all the little bits. I guess there's, there's quite a bit on this page, but it went, again, it went by so fast. I love using old collections. It makes me feel good. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to go check out Missy's channel, and I'm sure you'll get stuck there for hours if you go. <laughs> um, and I will see you tomorrow for day 20. So thanks so much. Stay scrappy, friends.